It's a great variety. The station playing more of your favorites. The Swing Out Sisters on Sunny Side Up, Sunny 101.9. Break out. I'm not sure what they're telling you to break out. But I, they're just saying break out, man. You know, Dude, so they don't mean break out into a fight. No, it's or not break out of jail or nothing. It's just break out, make a run for it, do it, do it. If you feel like it, do it. Break out, run, run, run. Well, a uh, newly married couple in Pittsburgh might be breaking out uh, of jail after they broke out into a fight. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. You know, normally when uh, a couple says "I do," it means I do promise to love and to hold you right, and to have you right. forever. Blah, this couple blah, blah. apparently thought that uh, the question was, who wants to rumble? <laughs> I do. Yeah. <laughs> because the bride and groom spent the night in a Pittsburgh jail last Saturday after they got into a brawl with each other, as well as members of another wedding party. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now we're talking. I really hope that my wedding night doesn't go like this. The me melee began after a reception at a Holiday Inn Okay. when the 32-year-old groom and the 25-year-old bride took to the floor of the hallway on the seventh floor. They started rumbling. The, the two the, of them. The two of them. The groom apparently karate kicked his new bride. Wow. <laughs> apparently he was watching Missing in Action. But why? I, it doesn't say here why they started fighting in the first place. Okay. But this this when, was after the reception. This was after the reception, correct. Alcohol may have been a factor Could have been. <laughs> When a pair of guests attending another wedding in the hotel tried to come to the bride's aid after the groom karate kicked her, she responded by attacking them. Oh, boy. The don't, fight, you, don't you worry about our business, now. The fight shifted to the elevator and then the lobby. Now, can you see this one? I can see, you know, the elevator coming to the floor. There's like a big rumble going on, a dust cloud, mm -hmm. basically, where you just see fists and legs poking out of it. Right. And then they get in the elevator and they're just standing there. Do, 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 do. And then they get out. <laughs> yes, I've watched the Blues Brothers too. Anyway, uh, <laughs> the fight then shifted into the lobby, the lobby of the hotel, where the newly wedded couple decided that they were a team after all. And then, started... and they decided to toss potted plants at the two guests who attempted to intervene. <laughs> wow. Police arrived, found the groom lying on the floor while a drunk bride stood over him screaming. <laughs> they were both charged with simple assault, criminal mischief, and disorderly conduct. And while uh, and the bride received an additional charge of public intoxication. <laughs> they were released from jail last Sunday. The bride was still in her gown. The groom sported his tuxedo <laughs> pants, a t-shirt, and one shoe, not to mention a swollen eye. <laughs> Now, the best part is that they had actually gotten married last month in the Bahamas, but they decided to renew their vows in Pittsburgh in front of 150 guests. That was probably a bad idea. Probably, yeah. Well, <laughs> I'm sorry, guests, as they're now known witnesses. Yeah. That's, uh, hmm, yeah. I don't know. That's, uh, <laughs> that's, uh, it doesn't tell you why, huh? No, it, it doesn't say at all why it broke out, but those would be some interesting wedding photos. You know, normally you just have the matte photos with a little soft border around right, it. Right, right. I'd rather see the mug shots in the wedding album. <laughs> oh, it was a great night, wasn't it, honey? <laughs> yes, but my jaw is still iron shut.